Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all integers n, the greatest common divisor of 5n plus 3 and 7n plus 4 is equal to 1. In other words, 5n plus 3 and 7n plus 4 are relatively prime. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose a and b are integers that are not both 0. Then the greatest common divisor of a and b is equal to 1, if and only if there exist integers s and t such that as plus bt is equal to 1. Now, before we get into proving this theorem, let's start out with some scratch work. So to show that this is true, we could try applying our lemma, which means we want to find integers s and t such that 5n plus 3 times s plus 7n plus 4 times t is equal to 1. Now, some of you guys might immediately see what we should choose s and t to be. But if you don't immediately see it, here's something that we can do in order to figure out what to choose s and t to be. Well, let's distribute s across this parentheses, and let's distribute t across this parentheses. But now, let's group together the terms that have n in it. And let's group together the terms that don't have from the terms that have n, I'm just going to factor out the n. So really, this is just equal to 1, but I'm going to rewrite 1 as 0n plus 1. So what this means is we expect 5s plus 7t to be equal to 0, and 3s plus 4t to equal 1. Because if these two things are true, then the left-hand side is 0n plus 1, the right-hand side is 0n plus 1. And we can solve this system of equations to obtain that s is equal to 7 and t is equal to 5. So our goal was to find integers s and t such that 5n plus 3 times s plus 7n plus 4 times t equals 1. Well, these values for s and t will make that work. And so we should now be able to prove the theorem. So let's get into writing up the proof. So to start out the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about all integers, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer. We'll call it n. And our goal from here is to show that this is true. And to show that this is true, we can apply our lemma. We're taking a to be 5n plus 3 and b to be 7n plus 4. And to show that the greatest common divisor of 5n plus 3 and 7n plus 4 is equal to 1, all we got to do is show that there are integers s and t such that 5n plus 3 times s plus 7n plus 4 times t is equal to 1. But from our scratch work, we already know what to choose s and t to be. We'll take s to be 7 and t to be negative 5. So with those choices of s and t, all we got to do is show that if we compute 5n plus 3 times 7 plus 7n plus 4 times negative 5, we get 1. Well, if we distribute the 7 across this parentheses, we get 35n plus 21. And if we distribute the negative 5 across this parentheses, we get minus 35n minus 20. We see that the 35n's cancel out. 21 minus 20 leaves us with 1. So this does, in fact, simplify down to 1. So we have shown that there exists integers s and t such that 5n plus 3 times s plus 7n plus 4 times t is equal to 1. By our lemma, that tells us that the greatest common divisor of 5n plus 3 and 7n plus 4 must be equal to 1.
And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.